We're here to palpate the structures all along the medial aspect of the tibia. If you're on the medial aspect of the um, tibial condyle and proceed posteriorly, the semimembranosus attaches on the back of the tibia. There's a little bit of a gap, and then all through the proximal third or quarter are the attachments of the popliteus. As you proceed down to about the middle third of the uh, tibia, the soleus attaches all along the inside margin here and creates quite a taut fullness. Underneath it, and just slightly inside, is the attachment for the um, flexor of the toes, flexor digitorum longus. Proceeding from the tibial plateau medially and posteriorly, you can feel the attachments of semimembranosus. It's a slight gap as you go inferiorly, and then the next muscular fullness is the popliteus attachment, running for about the proximal quarter or so. That's the fullness there. You get a little bit of a gap, and then there's a fullness for about the middle third or so. This is where the soleus muscle attaches. Underneath that is the attachment for the flexors of the toes. And as you come out from underneath cover of the um, soleus, you can feel the flexor digitorum longus. It's the muscle belly down here. So if we ask Leona to push the ball of her foot down into my hand, you can see the soleus perking up and then relax. If we get her to clench her toes, however, and flex them, then we can feel them underneath the soleus. And that'll be the first tendon coming out along the edge here.